Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a weekend vlog. Um, today is Friday. It's December 2nd and it's 9 a.m. in the morning. I have to leave here in 20 minutes to head to work. But it's been a while since I've been on a routine of filming. I was in a little funk the last vlog you saw, but I'm fine. Everything's fine. But I've been so busy in my personal and work life that it's been really hard to just sit down and uh, make videos and Ryan's been home 24 7 so it's just been really hard for me Ryan also got surgery so I was dealing with that and it's just been a lot a lot of things has happened since just a lot of events so I'm finally able to film this weekend and it's gonna be fun because tonight is Ryan's company's holiday party and then tomorrow night is my salon's holiday party and then Sunday is my dad's birthday so I do have a whole weekend of festivities also i have the window open the sun is like right in my face sorry about that so i am just so happy to finally film again hopefully get back in a routine the start of january i am going to be doing two videos a week i know it sounds crazy because i'm so busy already at work but i am determined to do two videos a week so i'm looking forward to that and also january is more slower for me it won't be as hectic as the holiday season so i think i can do it i'm gonna leave here in 20 minutes to have to work i also have my vitamins i have to take my ritual for women's and then my seed also thank you guys so much for all the comments all the sweet words you guys have sent to me on my last video i was just a little funk i think i just have so many things coming up in my personal life it's just very hectic season for me because it's all of my loved ones birthdays like every single weekend around this time of year and then it's christmas and then holiday parties i'm also in a wedding next weekend and it's just been go 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 since october <laughs> literally i also just made a double espresso i'm just trying to eat this first to have some food in my stomach i'm trying to be better at drinking water and eating a small little something before I drink coffee because it's just very important. You're not drinking coffee on an empty stomach. Cause then it gives me the jitters, anxiety, and I just feel weird. So I'm learning how to do this before coffee. So I have my double espresso sitting there until I'm done. Also I need to make my lunch for work. I'm pretty sure I showed this in another vlog, but it's super easy. I make like a quick little salad. So I use this kale, this kale salad mix. And I get this at Publix, Target, Walmart. And I will put half of this in my little salad bowl here. And then I will throw away the dressing, unfortunately. Throw away the dressing, but I will keep the little pumpkin seeds and cranberry mix in here. And then for protein, I have deli meat from Boar's Head. Sometimes I use tuna, depending how I feel, but I'm trying not to eat that much tuna <laughs> just because I eat it on my days off. So I'm just going to roll. I'm actually just going to use the rest of it because I only have three slices left. So I will roll it up and just kind of shred it in here. And then I will also throw in some feta cheese on top, just a little bit. There's like a big piece in here that I don't want. There we go. Just a little bit of feta cheese. And I also have these little, what is this, chow mein noodles as my croutons. So I will throw just a little bit of these little Asian noodles, these crunchy Asian noodles in here. And then I will just toss that in here. And then for my dressing, I mix a little bit of olive oil, balsamic vinegar, apple cider vinegar, and seasoning. Pour a little bit. And then some balsamic vinegar. I love balsamic vinegar. And then if I remember, I will add Dijon mustard in it as well. Ooh, that went in my salad. So I'll do pepper. This is sometimes messy because it's so small. Garlic powder. A little bit of red pepper flakes to give it some spice. And then oregano. And that's all I do. That's my dressing, very simple. And then I'll pop it in here. I will mix, shake it up right before I pour it in. And then I put a plastic fork in here. And that is my salad. I make this every single day when I work. 
I usually buy two bags. I think I'm pretty sure I showed this before, but if not, this is how I make my lunch for the week. Okay, it's 9.13, I have to leave here in eight minutes. I'm gonna try to hurry up so I can chug my espresso. Okay, it's 9.20, I have to leave. I'm chugging my double espresso. This is the Nespresso brand of the double espresso, and then I put a little bit of the Chibani dairy-free sweet and creamy creamer in it, just a little bit. And then I just chug it. <laughs> Okay, I have to put my lipstick on real quick, but I'm on a red light. The lipstick, the lip trio I've been loving is the Rare Beauty lip liner. I freaking love this lip liner. It took me so long to finally try this out and it lasts forever. So I have the Rare Beauty lip liner. This is in the color, this is in the color kind, this is in the color wise. And then I've been still loving my MAC Honey Love Matte Lipstick. I rediscovered it. I also use this on my wedding day. But I'm also... Ah! Okay, I found free parking. Yay! Okay, where is my lipstick at? Oh, here it is. Okay, so I have the lip liner on. And then Honey Love by MAC. My favorite lipstick of all time. It's just the perfect nude for me. I wore this on my wedding day. And I also wore this for prom when I graduated high school. And then I have... I just get whatever lip gloss I have, but this is the Sephora one, and this is in the color F Outrageous. It has a little bit of plumping action going on. Cute. Okay, we're ready. We are ready to go to work. Um, since I found free parking, I am here a little earlier because you know I try to find free parking, so I might just chill here for a bit before I decide to walk out there. Um... Yeah. Okay, so today, it's, I don't even know what I have today. Today is going to be a busy day. I have three balayages back to back. I have a 10 a.m., I have a 1 p.m., and then I have a 4 p.m. So, so yeah, hopefully I'm done. Uh, the only client I'm worried about is the first one because I don't know if I've done her before. The name doesn't sound familiar, and my next one's at 1, so it's kind of pushing it. So hopefully, hopefully I can get her done on time. But I'm gonna try my best to film as much as I can. You guys already know um, I don't have an assistant anymore and I'm always busy, so it's just hard for me to be on it 24 seven. Someone is coming. All right, so I will check in with you guys in the salon. I'm gonna set up and then get ready for my first one. So we shall see how today goes. This is my first client of the day, and as you can see, her hair is a little bit grown out from the balayage highlights I did on her six months ago. So she is just coming in for a little refresher and also a haircut. She does like her hair a little bit shorter now, so I will be cutting some inches off. But first, I'm gonna be doing just a minimal balayage just to refresh her color. I do like to do a halo placement with my foils first because that way when I put the heater, um, the heater is going to be focusing on the crown of the head and not, not necessarily the bottom. So that way it's a little bit faster to process and I can get my clients in and out a lot quicker. Luckily she doesn't process for too long because her natural isn't that dark. So I let her process for about 20 minutes. I just keep checking up on it. And then once it's done, I'm gonna pull all the foils out, rinse her, apply Olaplex number two, and then I will apply the toner. She does like her blonde very ashy. So I'm pretty sure I use Illumina 1069 on her from, from Wella, Wella Professionals, not the Wella from Sally's. <laughs> Thank you. 
This is the color processing, and as you can see up close, it's starting to get more of that beigey, ashy blonde, which is exactly what we want. And then this is the after. I didn't show myself cutting her hair, but I did cut about three inches off her hair, just a little bit shorter the way she likes it. And then this is my second client of the day. We're gonna be doing a partial highlight. Um, very minimal, again, she wants a just lived in, ashy balayage. When my clients do say they hate warmth and brass, I try to make sure the highlights process past that orange color. That way when the toner does fade, it doesn't fade to that ugly brassy orange color that everybody hates. For her color mount, I'm pretty sure I used 5-1 from Color Touch on her root, and then I also used 786 with a little bit of 986 from Color Touch all over. And as you can see, it's a pretty beigey, ashy, lived-in balayage. This is my last client of the day. We're just gonna be doing, again, a little refresher, just bringing up the color a little bit higher. She does like her balayage color to be very ashy, but her hair is a negative one black. It's hard to tell on camera, but it's super dark, so this was the end. Hey guys, so I'm back home. It is 7.45 p.m. I'm running late. I have to go meet up with Ryan at his holiday party. I'm about to call an Uber right now. And my phone's about to die, great. So this is my fit. Let me call my Uber first and then I'll show you my fit. It's an old fit, but it's a conservative, casual holiday party. So more cash, nothing extra. Okay, I gotta go. Bar. Bye. Okay. Okay, Uber's getting here in four minutes. I'll show you guys my fit. I have Ryan left the iron board out here. So this is my fit. It's casual. I've had this dress for a couple years now. I've only worn it twice. And it's super cute. I feel like it's appropriate for his company party. And then I have my little Teddy Blake. Yeah, Teddy Blake bag. And then just my go-to nasty gal heels that are so beat up, but they're the most comfortable black, he black heels I own. And then I popped on a red lip, just red lip. I can't talk today. I popped on a red lip just to make it more festive because I'm giving my lashes a break, so I'm letting them fall out, and I have no lashes. So I look kind of weird. Stormy. me. And then just kept my hair straight because I don't have time to curl it. But yeah, my Uber's four minutes away, and I'm gonna head out. I'm not gonna bring my camera, so I'll just like film a little bit there. But holiday party number one. <laughs> Good morning, it is Saturday, it's 8.50 a.m. and I'm gonna be late to work because there's a race and all the streets are blocked off, so. Hold that for me. Um, last night was really fun, I only got to get a small little clip and we got home early like 12 a.m. so it wasn't that bad and it was fun I need to oh my god I'm gonna be late today okay so a quick little story time while I'm chilling here waiting to go to work because I'm stuck in traffic here we go I'm gonna put it right here okay so Ryan's company did white elephant let me put my AC down so there's no sound Ryan's company decided to do White Elephant, and I didn't know I was gonna be participating. I thought, oh, what are we doing? What, what's going on? I didn't know I was gonna be participating. I thought it was just like the employees, whatever. So I get there and I'm eating my food, and Ryan's boss's wife, Stephanie, she comes up to me and Ryan, and she gives us a blank piece of paper, and she's like, write something that nobody knows about you, but don't write your name. And I'm like, okay, I don't know what this is for. Is this for a game later? Because my competitive self, I wanna win a prize. So I wrote on the piece of paper, I love my dogs more than my husband. I mean, was, I wrote it like as like a joke and thinking that nobody was gonna see it and so I guess that was how they were gonna draw the white elephant for the game and when they started the game they started pulling out the cards whoever had that then they had to go and pick up a gift I was like oh my god he's gonna read it out loud the guy on the mic and everyone's gonna be like damn girl you don't love your husband <laughs> So yeah, he ended up reading out. He first, he said, he read it in his mind and he was like, whoa, this is gonna cause a divorce in a couple years. And I was like, oh great. <laughs> I 
was like covering my face. I was like, great. I love my dogs more than my husband. And everybody was like, ooh. <laughs> he actually kind of told me to write that, like as a funny joke, thinking that, I don't know, nobody was gonna see it. So everybody's like, ooh. And then Ryan pointed at me and everybody's like, Ashley. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> so embarrassing. So I had to walk up there, walk of shame, literally walk of shame to get a gift. And I was like, oh my god, everyone probably thinks I really do love my dogs more than my husband. I mean, I love my dogs, but obviously, I love my husband first. But yeah, that was a little embarrassing moment of the night. But yeah, it was fun. And today, I have a semi-busy day. I have a lot of a little, little appointments. My first one, which I'm going to be late for, is a toner blow dry. And then I have another toner blow dry. And then I have a balayage. And then I have a haircut at the end of the day. So hopefully I'm done at a decent time because I have to go home, shower, take off my makeup, get ready for tonight for our holiday party, which is going to be so much fun. So yeah, it's gonna be a very busy, long day. And then tomorrow is my dad's birthday. And we're gonna go have dinner or lunch somewhere around where I live. And Ryan's actually gonna go buy a car down in Miami. He's crazy, he's gonna go fly down to Miami, pick up the car and then drive it back up. So he probably is gonna miss my dad's birthday dinner thing tomorrow. So that is it for the plans. So it is 8.56 a.m. and I'm still nowhere near the salon. I'm still stuck in traffic. As you can see, traffic. And I'm sure my client is stuck in traffic too, so it's gonna be an interesting day. Hopefully this doesn't set me back a lot because, because this sucks. So this is actually my third client of the day. My last client haircut canceled. So this is my last one. And we're just gonna be doing, again, just a little refresher. She likes a very minimal, minimal balayage look. Um, she is getting married in February. So we're just going to be touching up her balayage and as well as her haircut. And for the color, I did Color Touch 671, which is a brown ash, just to give it some depth and a little bit of like a chocolateness to it, but also keep it more on the ashier side. Hey guys, so I'm back home. It is, I think it's about to be 5.30 p.m. So yeah, it's 5.23 p.m. And I'm gonna take a shower. I'm gonna start getting ready for the holiday party tonight for our salon. My room is a mess again. It's not a mess, I just have just stuff everywhere. So I'm going to just quickly do like a mini cleanup so I don't have anxiety looking at my room like this. I'm gonna do a mini cleanup and then I'm gonna shower, take off my makeup, and do the full shebang and get ready for tonight. Also, I try my best to film today, but because of the situation this morning, I got to work 30 minutes late and my client came to work an hour late. And then I had a client right after her, like 30 minutes after. So I was just really busy this morning trying to get both of them done on time. So I was really busy this morning trying to get both of them done on time for my third client. And then my last client canceled. So I only got to really film a little bit of my my third client. But it is now the weekend, right Storm? It's the weekend. Mommy's off. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Tonight's gonna be fun. So yeah, can't wait. So I'm going to start getting right now. All right, I showered, I took my makeup off, I'm squeaky clean, I'm ready to get ready, ready to get ready. I have some music playing because that is my go-to when I am getting ready for a party or going out. I like to jam out to music. So I'm ready to get ready and typically I would like film a little bit for the vlog, but I'm finally going to attempt to do a TikTok get ready with me. I've been wanting to do this for a long time and I've just been procrastinating. And I've been waiting for a good event to do it for. So tonight is the perfect opportunity to do the TikTok get ready with me. So hopefully it comes out good. So I will check in with you guys after I'm completely done getting ready. Alright guys, this is the after. This took me forever to do. This messy updo vision that I had, I just didn't know what to do. And this is the best I could get it. Let me see. And then I'm wearing these shoes from Nasty Gal. This dress is from Opali. It's so freaking tight and I look six months pregnant. But... I can't unbloat myself 
And then this bag is from Sheen. This is my makeup. It looks so good. Makeup's definitely 10 out of 10. Hair, 6 out of 10. Dress, I'm so freaking bloated, so 2 out of 10. <laughs> It is the next day, it's Sunday, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm on the struggle bus. I obviously drank way too much, and now I'm dealing with the consequence, yay! So it's actually 4, 3.17 p.m. I'm getting ready for my dad's birthday dinner thing, early dinner. Um, I'm gonna meet up with some family, we're gonna have dinner, have fun, have some more drinks. And then hopefully chill for the rest of the night. My brows. Yesterday was so much fun. I only got like a little glimpse of the night, but it was so much fun. My parents ended up coming and they were hanging out with us and we just all had a great time. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have you like properly. I'm slouching so that way you can see me better because I have a wannabe tripod. But yeah, it was so much fun and I know I was a little flustered because of my outfit last night. My hair, my outfit, I just didn't feel like 100% good, but everyone else loved it, so it made me feel a little better about it, but yeah, my feet hurt from dancing, my secret Santa got me bad bunny slippers, where are they at? I think they're up there, she got me bad bunny slippers, I freaking love her, that was like the best gift you can give me, and then white elephant was fun too, so yeah, I'm really glad I was able to go, because... I am so busy this month. Every weekend I'm doing something. So I'm glad I was able to make it. So yeah, now I'm getting ready for... So I'm trying to hurry up because my family is getting to the restaurant now and I'm still not even done yet. Since I am really hungover, I'm feeling like a turtle. I'm just really slow right now. So I need to pep the step. I need to hurry up. But yeah, I'm excited for tonight too. I'm going to hang out with some family I haven't really hung out with in a, in a while. I'm trying to hurry up. All of my lashes are pretty much fallen falling out. I only have a couple of stragglers. So I think I'm just gonna leave it. I'm not even gonna dare put more lashes on it because I think I'll just rip my lashes off, <laughs> my real ones. I also have a refresher with um, black tea to give me a little bit of caffeine to wake up. All right, I need to finish up because I need to be done in like 10 minutes and then I will check with you guys later. I am in the car. Forgot to show you guys my outfit, but I'm running behind. I'm actually running late. And filled up my dad's car, really hungover. It's not my best work, but it will do. Mm. All right, so I'm going to the restaurant now. <sighs> Ryan's not here because he went to Miami, like I mentioned yesterday. I dropped him off at the airport earlier, like two hours ago, and his flight is delayed, so he's not gonna get back till later in the night. Kind of sad he's missing this birthday dinner. But yeah, he's gonna go pick up a car. He a new car and he won't tell me what it is it's a surprise and i want to know what it is but he won't tell me so i guess we'll find out tonight the new bad bunny song with an gun hit fire fire hey guys so it is now the next day and i did not get to vlog last night at the restaurant i was at because I'm not gonna lie, I was a little shy. There were some family members that were there. I just was too shy to film around them. But I will insert a little clip of them singing happy birthday to my dad.
so that place was super cool it was a puerto rican restaurant and we had such a good time we ended up i got there at six third no i got there uh what time did i get there i got there at four and we didn't leave till 9 30. it was a nice little hangout area we got to hang out outside and it was just nice overall i got to hang out with my family and then ryan got back home pretty late he got home at 11 30 p.m because his flight got delayed i will insert a picture of his car it is a 2016 it's an older car it's a mercedes but he did pay all cash so that way when we get a house it'll be easier to get a house with no debt right looky bear my little baby oh my goodness that's my baby boy that's my baby boy i love you i love you so much looky boogie bear that's my baby boy you love mommy hmm? you love mommy love him so much and my camera's gonna die so yeah it is an older car it's a 2016 amg mercedes but he got a really good deal on it so he saved up his coins and he paid all cash and so that way he doesn't have any payments and no debt because i'm about to pay off my car so then we're both gonna be debt free and then we can get a house a lot easier but anyways i did stay up um waiting for him because i was excited to see the car and then then we went to bed at like close to 1 a.m i was just wired and i couldn't fall asleep so i think i ended up going to bed close to 1 a.m which was pretty late for me it is 11 51 a.m so i'm just gonna continue the vlog <laughs> i have a couple errands to run today and ryan's actually going to the tampa bay bucks game with his boss and his co-workers um, he's actually leaving at 2.30 because they have to get there around 5 to tailgate and then the game starts at 8 p.m. Monday Night Football, NFL. He did invite me. They have an extra ticket, but I'm going to pass because this will be the fourth day in a row I'll be drinking and socializing and I'm just like exhausted. I just want to stay home. I'm going to start packing for our, our ski trip on Christmas. My parents ended up bringing down all my ski stuff from their attic. So now I'm going to pack, be on Ryan's level. Cause he's been packed for two weeks already and we don't leave till christmas <laughs> look how cute my secret santa gift is these are bad bunny slippers if you love Bad bunny you know you know now i just remembered what i really need to do today i'm gonna go to tj maxx marshall's i want to do some christmas shopping and make a list of things that i still need to get for my family um christmas is like three weeks three weeks away and i have a zero christmas gifts I do have a couple gifts for my niece, but it's her birthday on the 18th. So, oh, and I need to get Ryan a birthday gift and a Christmas gift. Oh my God. His birthday is next weekend. It's just like go, go, go. You know, it was my mom's birthday, Thanksgiving, my dad's birthday, Ryan's birthday next weekend, and then my niece's birthday, and then it's Christmas. So that's why it's a very hectic time for me. So that is the plan. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for the day. I am gonna go to Orange Theory today at 4.30. That's like the only hiccup. But besides that, we're gonna get shit done. Then you know it's Christmas When the snow starts to fall Then you know it's Christmas For the children of all Hey guys, I'm finally home. It's 3.30 p.m. That took way longer than I thought, but I'm so happy because I got 80% of my Christmas shopping done at Marshalls and Home Goods. I went to a newer one that I don't really go to in like a nicer area of Orlando, and I was shook. I was like, there's so many good gifts, um, like gifts that I could give. So I got a bunch of things there, and I'm like 80% done, so I'm super happy. I'm finally eating now. I got a like Mediterranean bowl. This is the first time I'm eating today. I know it sounds crazy, but last night I I ate a lot of bad stuff this weekend. And last night I ended up eating, eating my leftovers at midnight because I got hungry again. And I ate like fried food right before bed. So my stomach was a little not feeling good this morning and I just wasn't hungry. And then I was running around all day. So I didn't really have an appetite. But now I need to eat and drink lots of water before orange juice so I don't die. I have to chug. I have an hour till Orange Theory and I haven't had no water, nothing to eat, so I might die. So I'm going to enjoy this. And I have all of my gifts here that I'm gonna wrap up. Hopefully, maybe tonight or tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow I'll probably wrap them up. Or maybe whatever 
yeah i think i might wrap them up tonight but i'm just not sure where i'm gonna put them because stormy is a terror and she tears everything up we have to put a gate over our tree because it's that bad so i don't even know where to put the freaking gifts at we'll see but yeah i'm super excited to eat this i am also going to end the vlog here because i'm going to do my nighttime routine tonight so i'm going to focus on that and then obviously i don't have time to do my faves my current faves i just didn't think this was going to take so long but i'm happy i got 80 percent of my christmas shopping done so i don't have to worry about that now but yeah i'm gonna end the vlog here so hopefully you guys enjoyed this weekend vlog if you did definitely give me a big thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe down below to help you grow up and i'll see you guys next video bye It's Christmas Cause Santa's on his way We're standing